Hey everybody, 40 Sparky here. I found a uh, product on the internet mentioned here on one of the forums, and I don't remember exactly where, but it sent me to a product that I looked at it and I thought it was kind of interesting, and like any other photo decision that I make about spending money, I really have to sit down and think pretty hard about it. But I'll preface this video and this little review about this product with the fact that I think it's pretty much universally accepted that filters are going to be a part of your life in photography. And there are at least two filters that every photographer should have. And one is a circular polarizer if you're shooting digital. If you're shooting film, you can get by with a standard polarizer and save a little bit of money. And a neutral density filter. I shoot with two. This is a Singray uh, very ND filter. will give me anywhere from two to eight stops of neutral density. Then I also have a B plus W 10 stop neutral density filter. And this is a 77 millimeter slim circular polarizer. These are the only filters that I really use on a regular basis. And these are the three lenses that I mostly use. What's on my camera most of the time is the Nikon 24 to 120 f4. For wide angle, I prefer the old fashioned, old school 17 to 35 f2.8. And for telephoto, short telephoto, I should say, is a 70 to 200, and this is a VR2. Now, one of the reasons, and it wasn't the determining driving factor, but one thing that I like about these three lenses is they all take the same filter size. So I can mix and match the, the lens caps. I don't have to worry about which lens or which cap goes on which filter. So that saves me a lot of money with buying different sized filters. I can get 77 millimeter filters and it will fit 95% of my shooting. I don't think I've ever even put a filter on my 70 to 200, so I want to take this one out of the equation. Just suffice it to say that that's part of the reason I did choose this lens, very small part, is because it takes 77 millimeter filters. But you're probably, if you use filters, you're probably used to this, is you have to thread them on, and if you're like me, you've got to back them up a little bit to get them threaded on. And then when you thread them off, you've got to be careful, both putting them on and off, that you don't drop it. If you have the ability to put the filter on before you take your shot or put your camera on your tripod and focus and frame and everything, that's great, but a lot of times, especially when you're working with a very deep filter like a 10 stop, you need to get it all framed up and your focus and your composition where you want it and then put your filter on. And again, the problem is, is I got to back this up until I feel it drop into place, there dropped into place, and now I can thread it on there. It's great that I have the camera with the lens face up, but out in the field, my camera is usually aimed at the horizon because I shoot a lot of landscapes. And so it gets kind of difficult to put a filter on and off because I'm worried about dropping it. And I have dropped some of my filters, but fortunately so far I've only dropped them where there's grass and they've been gently stopped. So wouldn't it be nice if there was a system that was like a quick release? I mean, those of you who are old enough to remember the old threaded lenses, what a godsend bayonet mounts were for putting on lenses. You didn't have to sit there and unscrew a lens and turn it four or five times and take another lens and screw it back on. That predates me, but there are probably still some people out here who remember and maybe even have some of those systems. But anyway, this product that I was sent to basically is a quick release system for your filters. And the kit arrived today and they are called Zoom, X-U-M-E. And my kit came with seven parts. There's two parts. There are the lens adapters, which I got two of. And there are filter holders, which I got five of. I do have other filters besides these, but these are the three that I use the most of. Now, it took me a while on the manufacturer's website to determine what the difference between a lens adapter and a filter holder was. Which goes on which? Well, the easy way to remember is the lens adapter 
goes on the lens and the filter holder goes on your now, filter. The way these work is that you put the lens adapter on the lens and it looks almost exactly like a small step up or step down ring. It is simply a ring that you thread onto your lens and then you thread a filter adapter onto a filter. You now have a quick release system for this filter. It's on there. And look how easy it comes off. That's all you have to do to put that lens or that filter on that lens. It actually sets right on there. So with the, the setup I got, since I use the filters on these two lenses and rarely put it on my 70 to 200, I didn't get the third lens adapter for that because I rarely put a filter on it. In fact, I don't think I ever have put a filter on that lens. But I can now pop that on and it's on there. How strong is it? It picks that lens up. Again, this is the older Nikon AFD 17 to 35. If you want to look up the specs on see how heavy that is, it won't pick up the whole camera, but it will pick up this lens. This is the Nikkor 20, 24 to 120 f4, and you can see that I'm not holding on to that lens at all with my fingers. So that gives you an idea of how strong these magnets are on these adapters and then I put one on my 10 stop ND and let's say I'm not shooting and I find my Singray VND is not enough I've changed filters it's that simple if I have the 10 stop on there it's too much that's how easy it is to change it's on there now you're probably wondering, does it add, you know, what does it do to the filter? Yes, it actually thickens the filter. So with this lens, and more especially with the 17 to 35, I'm going to see more vignetting depending on the filter I use. My VND is the thickest. I can already uh, tell that this is probably going to vignette at 24 and maybe even 28. The uh, other two filters, they're thinner. The CPL is thinner yet, and then the 10-stop the is my, the thinnest of the three. So I'm going to be doing some tests here in the future, and I'll post them online about my results of vignetting with these three filters with the two lenses here that I have. So keep an eye out for that. These are not a perfect solution, I will say that. It isn't something that I say, buy it, put it on your lenses and filters, and forget about it because they do not they're not threaded on the inside so you in order to use this system with a lens cap you would basically have to put a filter adapter on your lens cap but the nice thing about it is you don't have to do the center pinch anymore you can just pull it off and then when you're done you might remove the adapters and the the holders and then go back to the traditional way but it's a step in the right direction it's not a perfect system I'm sure there are times that you might walking around with your camera hanging off a black rapid strap I could see you bumping something and knocking this off or somehow jarring the camera and popping this off so it isn't something that I would suggest that you walk around with this on a regular basis. Yes, you might be able to take short little trips from one area to another to reframe your shot, but I wouldn't suggest doing this system if you're going to leave the filter on all the time. This is really more designed that if you want to put a filter on, you can put a filter on. And if you want to take some shots without it, if you're going to be shooting a lot of shots with the filter on all the time, maybe you don't want to use this system. But like I say, 
it's a solution to a problem that speeds up putting filters on and off and you don't have to really worry about sitting there turning them and possibly dropping them. I've done that on occasion. Uh, the name of them is again is Zoom XUME and I'll put a link here with my video review. I think it's a good product. Like I say, it's not a perfect solution, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. You go to their website, you can buy the uh, adapter rings in, I think, every size from 49 to 77 millimeters, and I think when I last looked, they were working on 82. If you have a wide variety of filter sizes, you obviously want to get the size that you have for your filters because a lot of people get the adapter rings and go to a larger filter so that's the size that you'd want to get is the size that you have of your filters. Can you stack these? Well I can't really because the only filter that I have that has the inside threads is the 10 stop. I guess I could take that off. That's the only one. My other two lenses my other two filters do not have threads in them to accept a, another filter. So I can't stack them, but if your filters do have a uh, front thread, you can stack them. But again, you're not only stacking filters, which increases your chance of vignette, but you're also increasing the thickness by adding the thickness of these adapters. So that's my review of the Zoom magnetic filter holders. This is 480 Sparky. Go forth and actuate.